Hello future engineers and my dear students welcome back to Mudassar Academy I am Mudassar Sheikh and I am back yes I know it's been a while uh, I think more than a year long or so unfortunately I have to take a break since I was diagnosed with critical illness it was a very tough time and honestly I wasn't sure I would be able to come back but your all helping support your messages your comments kept me going I'm still recovering and there is still a lot of pain but seeing your love and dedication made me forget all of it so let's start the journey of learning together okay so in today's class we are going to start with yes you're hearing it right based upon hundreds of comments from students today i'm going to start with the engineering mathematics 2 for the v2 17 18 21 and 22 schemes So today we will be going to do the module integral calculus, and in today's class, in today's video, I'll be solving major examination question based on double integrals. Okay. So before starting, as I keep on telling you, the problems to solve here are very very important exam based. If you solve them, if you see the videos continuously and practice them, you can easily pass the examination, good get good marks. But apart from that, it's a good news that I will be launching affordable courses for the VTU and autonomous colleges for engineering maths one, two, three, four, so on. On my website, mudasiracademy.com. The link you can find in the description below, given below. So these courses will have ten times more examination-based questions, assignments, multiple question papers, and very, very other, other very, very useful resources, so that you can score very good marks in interns and can target to score up to eighty to hundred percent in the externals. So students who are really interested can go to the website mudasiracademy.com and get yourself updated about the process. So without wasting any time, let's start doing the maths. So let's start with this problem. Evaluate integral zero to one, integral s to root x, x square plus y square dx to y. As you see, there are two integrals here, so it's a problem on double integral. Okay. Now. Understanding the double integration, see, single integration means one d, double means two d, three d means three d, d, two d means x and y, three d x and y. So since you are studying now only about double integration, double means two d, two d means what? X and y. Okay, that means see there will be two integrals. So the outside integral is always a constant, inside integral is an equation. So in one case it can be outside integral can be x that is a constant x is zero one two three four five a b c d so on the limits and the inside integral can be y as function of x so as x root x x keeps so on or the other way can be outside integral can be y as a constant so y is equal to zero one two three four five a b c d and the inside integral can be x in terms of y x is y y is root y whatever. Okay so you see this question here this double integration now so let Let's see how to solve this. Okay, now how to solve? So first, I write down this here again. Integral zero to one, integral x to root x, x square plus y square dx dy. Okay. Now, as I told you, double integration is about two d, x and y. So there will be two limits, one of x, one of y. So how to find it? See here, there is x and x. So obviously, this will be the equation of x y. So y is equal to x, y is equal to root x. Okay, simple. Therefore, outside will be so y I have taken outside is x. X is equal to zero. X is equal to one. Now, as we got elements, so we'll solve it. Now, first we'll integrate with respect to what? Y, because there is y here. The inside integral is y, so we are going to integrate with respect to y. How to do it now? When I integrate with y, this outside will be as it is. X is equal to zero to x is equal to one. So I integrate this. This integration sign goes. Now before, so before doing this problem, let us see some basics of integration. Okay. So you know, integration is opposite of differentiation. That is, differentiation x. Differentiation of x is one means integration of one is. Yx. So integration of one exists. Don't write it zero and come in the exam. Integration one dx. Uh, integration of one dx is x. Integration of one dy is y. So it means here x square as it is. You are integrating with respect to y. So integration of one is y. 
plus why is all why square why why is already there see so integrating this respect to y itself so integration of y square is y cube by 3 and the limits are x and root x dx now you have to put the top limit in since you are integrated with respect to y so to replace the top limit with root x minus y with x okay so we'll do it so we have x is 0 to x is equal to 1. So, in place of y put root x, x square into root x plus root x whole cube by 3 minus, when I take a minus sign, always remember to put the bracket. So, in place of y put x, x square into x plus x cube by 3 into dx. Done? Now, this will be x is equal to 0 to 1 simplified x is to a into x to b is x is to a plus b here it is x square root x means root means raised to 1 by 2 2 plus 1 by 2 5 by 2 x raised to 5 by 2 plus root means raised to 1 by 2 x raised to 3 by 2 by 3 then minus x cube minus x cube by 3 dx okay now let's integrate this so with respect to what dx as i told you integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus n n plus n so integration of x is x square by 2 x square will be x cube by 3 x cube will, uh, will be x raised to 4 by 4 simple that means x raised to 5 by 2 will be x raised to 5 by 2 plus n 7 by 2 so x raised to 7 by 2 divided by 1 plus by, by sorry 7 by 2 by 7 by 2 x is to 3 by 2 will be x is to 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 into 3 minus x is to 4 by 4 minus x is to 4 by 12 and the limits are 0 to 1. So we put it here now. So 1 in place of x put 1 minus 0 will be later as it is. So we have 2 by 7 plus 2 by 15. So 2 goes up to 15 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12. So simplify this using a calculator. So when you simplify this, we get the answer as 9 by 105. Further Reducing down, it becomes 3 by 35. And that's the answer. That's it. Okay. So, see the next question. Evaluate integral 1 to 2, integral 3 to 4, x y plus a raised to y, dx into dy. So, very simple question. And if you see here, there is no x and y given. So you can take whatever you wish. Okay. So I will take this as x is equal to, this x is equal to 2, x y is equal to 3, and y is equal to 4, x y plus e raised to y dx dy. Now, as usual, we are integrating with respect to y first. So outside x is equal to 1, 2 as it is. So when I integrate with respect to y, this integral goes and what remains x as you know, integration of y is what? Integration of y raised to n dy is equal to y raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. Right? That means integration of y will be y square by 2 plus integration of e h to y is e h to y only because integration of e raised to x dx is e raised to x. Okay. Therefore, integration of e raised to y is e raised to y. Fine. And the limits are 3 to 4 into what remains when I integrate respect to dy dx remains. Now, it's time to put the top limit and bottom limit in place of y since we are integrated with respect to y. So, this will be x is equal to 1 to 
into x into see in place of y put 4 4 square is 16 16 by 2 right plus e raised to 4 minus bracket x by 2 into 3 square is 9 right plus e raised to 3 dx now let's open the bracket and simplify x is equal to 1 2 x is equal to 8x to the 16 plus e raised to 4 minus 9x by 2 minus e raised to 3 dx. Am I right? Okay. Now, finally, we need to integrate this whole thing with respect to x and put the limits to minus 1 and get the answer. So, that means this will be 8 as it is. Integration of x is what again? x squared by 2 because integration of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. I am again writing it down so that it fits in your mind this simple formula. Okay. So, integration of x is x squared by 2 plus again we are integrating this with x. So, integration of 1 is x. That means e raised to 4 into integration of 1 is x minus 9. So, here integration of x is again x square by 2. Correct now. So, x square by 2, 2 to the 4, x square by 4 minus e raised to 3 as it is integration 1 is x and the limits here are what? 1 to 2. Now, again put in place of x put 2 minus bracket in place of x put 1. This will be 2 1s are 2 4s are. I will simplify here. So, in place of x put 2, 2 square 4, 4 4 is 16, correct? In place of x put 2, 2 square 4 16 plus 2 e raised to 4 minus 9. Why? Because 2 square 4 4 cancels minus 2 e raised to 3, okay, minus bracket. Plus x put 1, so 4 plus e raised to 4 minus 9 by 4 minus e raised to 3. That is 16 plus 2 e raised to 4 minus 9 minus 2 e raised to 3 minus 4 minus e raised to 4 plus 9 by 4 plus e raised to 3. Simplify it. If you simplify this, say 2 e raised to 4. Minus e raised to 4 will be e raised to 4. Minus 2 e raised to 3. So, minus e raised to 3. Okay. And 16 minus 9, 7. 7 minus 3. 3 plus 9 by 4 will be nothing but 21 by 4. So, this is the answer. So, the answer is 21 by 4 plus e raised to 4 minus 3. That's it. I hope you understood how to solve this question. Okay. Coming to the next problem, evaluate double integral, integral 0 to 1, integral 0 to x, e raised to y by x dy dx. Okay, you solve this now. But before solving this question, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button right now. See, in spite of having so much difficulty, pain, I have come forward to teach you. For you, hitting the subscribe button will take a second. But for me, your subscription means the world to me. It's the biggest motivation to keep me push teaching. So, please do it now. So, coming back to the question, evaluate 0 to 1, 0 to x, e is 2 y by x, dy dx. Now, if you see here, 0 to 1, 0 to root x, e is 2 y by x, dy dx, right. Now, here as there is x term here, so this will be y, this will be y and remaining this will be x and our this. So, in outside is x and inside is y. Now, integrate e raised to y by x. Okay. So, how will you do it? See, now as, it, as I tell you, uh, integral is opposite differentiation. So, differentiation of e raised to x and e raised to x. But one more thing. Integration of e raised to x, sorry, differentiation of e raised to x will be what? e raised to x into again differentiation of x, that is a e raised to x. But in integration, it is 
integration of e raised to x will be, it will be not into, it will be upon, divided by. That is, integration of e raised to ax dx will be e raised to ax by difference, divided by differentiation of a x is nothing but a with respect to x. What is that? Integration of e raised to ax dx is e raised to ax divided by that means here since we are integrating with respect to y, see y by x, y is top numerator. So integration of y by x will be e raised to y by x only upon divided by differentiation of y by x with respect to y, x as it is differentiation y is 1. So upon 1 by x and the limits are 0 to x dx. Am I right? Now again we can rewrite this as x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1, x e raised to y by x dx, 0 to x. Let's put the top limit and the bottom limit. So, we have this as x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. In place of x put x as it is, x into e raised to in place x as it is, in place of y put x, e raised to y by x, x by x, e raised to x by e raised to 1, minus in place of y put 0. So, x as it is, here in place of, since we integrate it with respect to y, you are putting the y as top limit is x minus 0. In place of y put 0, e raised to 0 is 1 into 1, okay, that's all. Into 1, I write here, dx. So, we have this as x e raised to 1 minus x because e raised to 0 is 1. Now, we need to integrate this. So, that will be when I integrate the sign goes x e as it is constant. Okay. Integration of x is what? Again, I am writing it x, x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, I am repeatedly writing this formula so that you can keep on seeing the video, revising it and there is no need to memorize this whole formula gets fitted in your system, okay. So, e as it is integration of x is x square by 2 minus again integration of x is x square by 2 and limit 0 to 1. Now, finally put a limit and get the answer. So, that will be now in plus x put 1 e by 2 minus 1 by 2. So, the answer is 1 by 2 e minus 1. That's it. This is my final answer. That's the solution. I hope you understand this. Okay. And that's the wrap on double integrals. We have covered the basics. We are going to move it in more complex. Uh, we are going to apply this over specified regions and that's what we are going to do in the next video. We are going to solve evaluation of double integral over specified regions. If you really find this video helpful and you like the video, then please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon and stay notified for further videos. Don't forget to share with your classmates, share it as much as possible and also drop a comment so that I can understand what videos you like me to make further. Till then, happy engineering, keep watching, happy integrating, bye-bye.